Parks in Webster County are getting ready to find their safe places just in case severe weather comes their way. WTVA's Nicole Dantzler tells us live about residents' plans to stay safe during the storms. The devastation from last weekend's tornado has residents more attentive to the warnings. After speaking with the assistant EMA director, Tom Booth tells me that this evening they're going to pay extra careful attention to this evening's storm. Today we will be on standby at the fire department. Uh, we will be watching and monitoring and keeping up with the latest reports and try to get early warning out as quickly as possible if we do go under any type of severe warning alert. Tom Booth says they are preparing for the severe storms this evening in Madison in hopes that they won't sustain any more damage. Even an associate pastor of First Baptist Church says he's taking extra precautions with his staff after being weather aware. Well, I've been monitoring the weather today uh, just to so that I could uh, stay abreast of the weather in the event that we knew, do need to let the church staff go home. And uh, uh, right now I'm looking at probably in the mid-afternoon that uh, we're probably going to allow the church staff to, to go home. He also says they have plans in place if they ever get a severe weather warning during Sunday service. And what we would do is evacuate the uh, sanctuary and get everyone that's here into a hall uh, that's a very sturdy structure behind the sanctuary. And we have another room in the church that is uh, surrounded by brick. He says those areas are the safest places to be in the building. Most of the damage here in Madison has been cleared away already, but there is still so much more to do. Coming up at 5, we'll take a look at some of the damage that's still here, and we'll also see how the city is moving forward. Live in Madison, I'm Nicole Dantzler, WTVA 9 News.